hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel okay we're gonna be messing today we're gonna be messing we all mess on saturday we're gonna be messing 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 we're gonna stay in messyville because i don't understand this y'all went on this big tour introducing simon to the world going back to his native land visiting his country visiting his tribe visiting his mama you thinking you're gonna be some kind of queen star dressing uh conservative and all that um uh, um like a cultural apparel and all that and girl he don't care about his kids he don't care about them he ain't never got them on social media he ain't got them with him when he's on social media they're non-existent so what you think he gonna do with pj girl he want to be on your tit he wants to be your baby he don't want anybody or any small child being close to you he need his time and what does that call him selfish selfish when are you gonna leave this zero and get a hero or better yet just do you just have companions because this whole thing about marriage it's just not suiting you at all you got marriage on the brain you know so i think you need to just pull up put the stop down well, drain Simon down the, 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 the tube, the sink, drain him on down, and stop it up. And just pay attention. Because if you hadn't been keeping score, bravo, you don't have anymore. You don't have Dish Nation anymore. You barely got the Go Naked Hair popping off for you. And what other thing you got? Oh, shoot. Go Naked Hair, and you got your, your, your sheet line. Okay, girl, and I heard it through the grapevine. You was trying to get with some financial company and rep their business. So you can't get with nobody else? Who is your PR person? Who is your manager to go get you gigs? What's up with that, girl? Did he just destroy everything when he came into your life? Took all your stuff you had financially going for you. Just throwing it thinking you're going to be somebody really big in an African tribe. And you're going to be the queen and all this, that, and the third. And you're going to have babies galore. And you're just going to be featured every day. That didn't work out too well, did it, Portia? Because uh, the show and the book were two flops. And I don't know what else you can go on. Now, see, that's a happy, happy family picture. You got PJ in the middle. That mm -hmm. means love. And y'all protecting her on both sides. What kind of picture we have here? You see uh, Grandpa over there want to be on your tit. And you got PJ who's supposed to be on your tit. And you loving her and protecting her. But why is she not in the middle? Let's take another look, shall we? We got another photo coming up here. Shortly. <laughs> but y'all see what I'm getting at? It's just a thing you know. Okay, again, where's the protection between both parents? He's supposed to be her stepdad. She's supposed to be her mother. They're supposed to have the child in the middle for his protection, meaning nobody's going to get to her from my left or from my right. But where is she? She's on Portia's side, as in Portia is protecting her. Okay, we have another photo. Okay, and I'm just speaking on body language is what I see now. Them two are just happy in love. They're retired. They're senior citizens. And they're just living their life. But I could see having more fun with him and PJ. Having fun together than I can with Simon. Because this man know who he is. You know what I'm saying? But that little nut right there, Papa Smurf. He just want to be on Portia's tip. He's a loser. He's a loser. He's a loser. Okay, body language again. Why is PJ over to the left she should be in the middle as in both parents or co-parents or not co-parents but you know he stabbed dad or whatever why isn't he in the middle as he's protecting her nobody's gonna come for her in front of me and nobody's gonna come on the side for her but she's always on Portia's um reigning side and as you can see, it's very difficult to watch because he looks like he's in a pajama outfit. This doesn't look like no African attire. This looks like a pajama outfit, like he going to bed in the wintertime. And Mama Diana looks like she really want to be by him because I'm looking at the body language. You see what I'm saying? She's like, ooh, you're detestful. But my daughter want me to take this picture, so I guess I will. But she shouldn't be taking pictures with him that close anyway. 
And see, that's a pretty picture right there. She got a man. She better keep on. She better keep him up. You know, but she better keep him. Because he looks good. He looks distinguished. And he just looks like he's good people. You know, from good stock. And I bet you PJ love that man. And he looks like he could be lovable. Like you just lay on his chest and he'll be rocking you to sleep and putting you and have no cares. And he's your protector. You see what I'm saying? But this nut over him, all the children he got, he just got Portia. Badass Portia up there on his uh, his um, table, on his desk. Where's his other kids? Where is PJ? Where's a p Portia of him and PJ together? You know, like, this is going to soon be my stepdaughter, and I love her to death, and I'm going to protect her to the end. And the same thing with his kids. Where are the photos? Okay, and you, like I said, they were just taking photos when Portia got with this man and introduced him to the scene of where we were in uh, social media. And like I said, she would be a great mom to all of them. But it's just like, you can't be that way, Portia, and then think you can have a party life as you're single and this, that, and the third. The two just don't mix. You have to give up one to observe and protect and grow the other one, as you can see. You see what I'm saying? So, Portia, get it together or leave it alone. You don't want this news, I'll be gone. Okay, I'm just saying. Girl, pull up, pull up. Ever since this man has been in your life, it seems like things have been spiraling downward for you. You've lost job opportunities. No, f uh, you know, no fault of your own. You just threw caution to the wind and said, I don't want you. I don't want you. I'm going to go get my own bread. I'm going to be my own brand ambassador of my own brand stuff. And you see how it worked out for Porsche's Family Matters. Total zero. Loser show. Loser, loser, loser. And you couldn't even promote the show anymore. But you trying to go out here and peddle this book that ain't worth a shit either. You know, anybody that's buying it just knows it like me. Or they just like you in a way and they want to support you. Because you don't throw all your job and opportunities away. Then you still got that fighting spirit in you. Don't nobody want you to endorse them. But I'm going to do a video on you on this Sophie uh, financial company you're supposed to be repping now. Like, damn, girl, that's what you get when you're just coming on the scene. You know what I'm saying? It's like me going and advertising for Aaron's Rental. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, you went from up there to falling all the way down flat on your face to nowhere. Girl, I heard through the grapevine, you need to drop this zero and get you a hero. But better yet, drop that zero in Simon and be single for a while. Learn yourself. Learn who Portia can be. And not what she is trying to be right now. Which is a gold digger. Okay, get your YouTube channel. I'm sh I hell, I follow you. And get good commentary off you. And I'm sure a lot of other people will too. Candy got one. She keeping money hand over fist. Even if she just paying Riley's tuition with her YouTube check. Okay, she's making it do what it do. But I don't know what you're doing around here. Girl, like, get it together. Leave him alone, okay? Finally come up for air. Put the oxygen mask on. Resuscitate. We pumping you with the uh, defibrillator. We want you to not be flatlined anymore. We want you to grow. I have to put you and Cinder in the same boat, girl. You need to pull up. This is year 2020 where royalties come in. We face our fears. We move on. And we be leading the pack. Girl. Pull up. Because you're still drowning in stupidity. And ignorance. And arrogant. Uh, you're arrogant out there. I mean, Simon, it's just all floss and gloss. No show and prove there. Nothing. I mean, y'all wanted to show the world. When y'all was at that Costa Rica rental property from what Fallon was saying. Y'all wanted to show us where y'all were living, how y'all were living, the insides and the out. But what's going on now? Because this nut is just all about cars and trafficking and drug dealing usage or allegedly all of this. But what do we see him do? Nothing. We don't show him at no business. He just wants to be you be on him 24-7 and he just can't get enough for you. Until the people call and say, you, be you better get on that trap so we don't told you to be selling. So we need our ends, okay? You need to be doing that. Then he goes away and, and then he come back another day. And all this foolishness. Because him wanting you 24-7 or wanting you more than a child would need you.
and get mad if you're spending more time with the child and him talking about he got needs he needs you too no he need to get a job several jobs and when he come home you got a meal waiting for him got a slippers let him take a shower and put his ass to bed you know what i'm saying because he too old for this shit he need a maid he need a caregiver is what he need but because between him and that smoking that damn cigar and drinking that uh hard brown liquor he finna shrivel up real quick fast in a hurry and then you're gonna be a caregiver to him boy so do you want that life baby do you want that i'm sure there's more africans out there that's younger or your age group that's doing the darn thing i'm like i don't know where you and nini got this mess from and I need to do a video on her as well because that man, when they were on the 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 reel, honey, he had all body language that he was not with uh, Nene. He didn't want to be bothered with Nene. He didn't want to be attached with Nene. That's what he was giving me with his body language. But like I said, that's another video for another day. We on Porsche right now, and how these optics, picture optics, are giving us a thousand. How they say a picture's worth a thousand words. That shows me she don't trust Simon. And this was Christmas time when everything's supposed to be lovely. Gifts should have been pouring out. And I don't know. I think this was Halloween. She's such a cute little girl. And she's just, I don't know why they were getting on Porsche about putting weave in that baby girl hair. Just as long as it wasn't damaging it. You know, but it, it's cute, girl. It's cute. But you see, there you go. Who seems like they're the protector? Portia is. She don't trust that man. We don't trust him either, Portia. We need you to drop him. Get rid of him, girl. He is the problem. All right? Now, I can see if you found somebody like Larry who want to be around you, want to sing, want to, you know, hug you all the time, be with the kids. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm sure he is a, they ain't married. But since uh, Portia mom is her grandmom, I guess she can call him granddad too. Hell, you know what I'm saying? A kid need all the love they can possibly get so they'll know what love feels like and looks like. But she know uh, she don't like Simon. PJ don't like Simon. And probably when she get close to him, she probably start out crying, hollering and everything, trying to get away from that man. Okay? That's what I'm just saying. Because why aren't the pictures why is she, why is she not really in between them? You know what I'm saying? What what's going on? It's like you're trying to shield him from something you already know is not right. So why are you bothering with him? Drop him, honey. Drop the loser. Drop the loser. Loser. Okay? And like I said, the bottom line is speaking there. That's no hug. This, this, this is not a, a sincerity hug. That's not a love hug. Shit. He, he probably getting too close. She said, let me, let me put my hand up so he don't try to go around my waist. She don't trust him. So if you and your mama don't trust Big Headed Simon Grandpa, Smart Papa Smurf, why should we? Why should we? And I'm pretty sure Larry done told Miss Diane a lot about Mr. Simon. That he ought to be ashamed of himself going after your child like that. But if Portia like her, you know Portia gonna like who she like. Portia chasing money and dreams. That's like going to Hollywood chasing your dreams. And come back home empty handed. You know what I'm saying? Child. Get it together or leave it alone, honey. And Portia, Portia, Portia. We don't keep telling you this stuff. Because it ain't just me trying to tell you. Because you ain't living your life, honey. You ain't living your life. You living a, a friend to get ready to live a, 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 a more headache filled drama style type senior citizen's life is what you finna get involved. Because that nigga, oh, I, I'm sorry. That nigga keep drinking that brown liquor and keep smoking them darn uh, cigars. He gonna have a heart attack. If not stroke, if not liver failure. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because he doing it daily. I bet you he's smoking them cigars daily. He, like, he probably go through seven of them in one day. And what you think that's doing to his heart? What do you think, Portia? And he ain't listening to you. He just keeps smoking and drinking and being in the water. And that's what we see you over here as a senior caretaker. Because that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be taking care of his ass. Wiping his ass. Feeding his ass. Rolling his ass. And he's going to drain the life right out of you. And then if that does happen. And you decided you finna high tail it. Then you still going to get in, in the crossfire. You're going to be you're gonna be hit by the crossfire. Of not taking care of your so called 
husband, your so-called fiance, your so-called generated boyfriend. Okay, because he's just a glorified boyfriend at this time to me. Because I don't know why you waiting on getting married to him if he loves you that much. Why don't he just marry you? It don't case, uh, I think it would take less than $30 to go get uh, married at the courthouse. And, and um, get the certificate to file in the courthouse that you are man and wife. Somebody don't want something. Y'all trying to ride this shit out. Because I know y'all ain't waiting on Bravo to give y'all some kind of spinoff show. So y'all can show everywhere, everybody in the world what's going on with y'all life. Are y'all that thirst buckets for attention and the spotlight, fame and glory? Because we don't want to see it. We don't want to see it. I mean, if we if y'all did have it, me like me, I'm coming for commentary. Okay? Not because I want to see this whole mess. I'm coming for commentary. But the truth of the matter is, <sighs> y'all are just not compatible. When y'all take pictures together, they're not really believable. It's like your stage pictures, and we don't see no love there. I mean, if you really want to make some money on the side, you should create your YouTube channel. And let us see the side that you want us to see. Or probably the side that we need to see everyday living life. Or would that be too much for Simon? Because he don't want everybody in his business. Okay? Because the time that he should have been... Uh, networking real hard and real heavy And getting with some heavy hitters in the business He should have been at that Super Bowl party He should have been at that Super Bowl game Because little do you know Rich people still On their downtime They still be trying to do business With whom they want to conduct business with Now and in the future That was a big networking And set aside That was a big gambling day too People were placing bets he should have been doing that, I guess. But where was he, girl? We still want to know. The public is in demand of wanting to know where was Simon Gabadia. Girl, because we checked the hospitals. He wasn't listed as in critical condition nowhere or was emergency, emergency rushed there for any reason. So we knew it was no health problems, no health issues going on. So what, where was he? Where was he, girl? Where was he? But that's all I got for this video, guys. Y'all like it, love it, gotta have more. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's how we do grow. Like the videos and share them. That's how you tell other people about our family and what we do over here. Okay? We don't just be bullshitting sometimes. We be dropping down gems. Okay, gems you can use. But we are a happy family. We like to dialogue. We like to cut up in the comments. We like to make each other laugh. It's just one of those days, one of those parties. One of those unforgettable moments when we have good commentary. You know what I'm saying? We be coming through. I be coming through and y'all be coming through. Just one big banging family over here. See, I know y'all need to tell people about Dab Chanel for this world. By mouth, by email, by uh, sharing the videos through all of y'all platforms, honey. Because sometimes YouTube be messing with us. They be taking our subs and stuff. So if y'all don't find y'all self sub to, uh, sub to me, and y'all know y'all sub, hey, I'll sub again. Tell two or three, four more times, hell. Okay. Well, y'all got to share me with everybody. I'm not a best kept secret. Okay. We want y'all to share. We want to grow. But that's all I got, y'all. I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.